I am Lamont at large and I am coming to you from the Mount Calvary Cemetery here in Davenport, Iowa. Timothy B. Madrigal, July 28, 1959 to July 24th, 1976. He died four days before his 17th birthday. He died in a head-on collision with four other people. They were riding in a pickup truck and they crossed over into oncoming traffic. Uh, police said they don't know what caused the accident. Charles Castro, 1950 to 1966. And he's buried along with his parents, David and Rebecca. Michael Joseph Hamill, born March 30th, 1973, passed June 6th, 1997. Noble husband of Stacy Renee since December 10th, 1993. To Snooky, I will love you forever. As the sun sets, blanketing the world with shade, my mind recalls the memories made. I come and sit where a gentle heart is laid eternally at rest. Mr. Hamill died of cancer after a two year battle with it. He worked at UPS as a truck loader. Francis Luan Oltzel, March 20th, 1969 to March 4th, 2015. Beloved daughter, sister, mother, grandmother. Miss Oltzel loved singing. She loved dancing. She loved the ocean. She loved dolphins, unicorns, making people laugh. She was a chef in uh, different restaurants in the area in Davenport. It doesn't say online how she died. This is Francis's brother, Scott Oltzel, beloved father, son, brother, June 3rd, 1971, of May 8th, 2014. He preceded his sister in death. Apparently, he got into a domestic situation with his wife, and the police were called, and he barricaded himself inside their home. And he decided that... Uh, he wanted to end everything on his own terms, by his own hand, is why he is here. Terrell Scott, September 28, 1984. To December 26th, 1988. Colleen D. Marr. September 6, 1943 to May 21, 1962. Hunter Aaron Von Dran. September 19th, 1990 to August 20th, 2004. Beloved son, brother, and friend. Hunter died at a water park. It was a freak accident. He fell from a wire into a pool. When they got to him, he was complaining he couldn't feel his left leg. They took him to the hospital where they found out that he had heart damage. He tore his the valves in his, uh, his aorta valves from his heart. And they flew him over to uh, a specialty hospital, but he died a week later after his injuries.
Nathan Anthony Sierra, May 12th, 1977 to September 26th, 2002. Love and respect for the legendary B-Boy Terminate. Mr. Sierra died in a car accident. Richard Thomas Ruddy, March 30th, 1967 to January 8th, 1997. He was 29 years old when he died. It just says online he died at a hospital after a brief illness. Valerie S. Went. September 1st, 1953 to October 14th, 1997. Loving mother of Dan and Judy Kirsten. Her laughter will always live on. Gerardo Jerry Ortega. August 6th, 1980 to November 9th, 1999. A beloved son, brother, and friend. Mr. Ortega died in a car accident. Sherry Ann Johansson, May 7th, 1964 to June 24th, 1981, in God's care. Ashley M. Gladfelter, July 23rd, 1989 to May 10th, 2011. Little Shirley, daughter of Lisa and Jeff, loving daughter, sister, and aunt, forever in our hearts. Carrie Elaine Olson. August 8th, 1984 to April 5th, 2014. Love you always and forever. Miss Olsen turned up missing around December 29th of 2013. They had, they had a suspect at the time, but they didn't have enough evidence because they had no body. But sadly, her body t turned up in Hastings, Minnesota. On April 5th of 2014, her estranged boyfriend was arrested for her murder and kidnapping. He was, of course, tried and convicted. Joseph Patrick Schlater, number 12. January 3rd, 1991 to February 6th, 2012. Beloved son, brother, uncle, and friend. Loved with a love beyond all feeling. Missed with a grief beyond all tears. As the journey continues, live but not live, but still alive by the grace of God, I am at the Mount Calvary Cemetery here in Davenport, Iowa. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it more so than you ever would know. I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace out.